How are you? It's good to see you. Senator Cornyn seemed a little bit dismissive of some of the House Republican plans to, to Jake Stiller for Florida yesterday and some of the other Republicans. Were. What did he say? Um, I don't have the exact quote on me. I'm sorry. He seemed to think that what happens in the House happens in the House, but the Senate needs to be bipartisan. Have you coordinated? Well, that's, inter that's interesting because because in the, in the House here, um, we just had probably one of the biggest bipartisan votes to collect a select committee on China. I don't know, is the Senate even in this week? What did they do this week? Oh yeah, they haven't done anything. So I think the House has been very productive in the first five days, but yes, I sat down with all the Republican senators and talked to them about ways that they could be more productive. They didn't even pass one appropriation bill last year. They didn't even pass an NDAA. So the ways we can make the Senate more productive would be great, and I think us working together will help them in the process to do that. Yes, ma'am. No, yeah. I'd say they're wrong. And what would be the inflation speaker? We saw the right flank of the party um, move you on the rules package. Are you concerned that moderates will throw their weight around to do the same? Look, we, we are one party. We don't have just one idea, but we go from the Reagan philosophy. If we agree with pe people 80% of the time, we're all together. I like the idea of having a party so large that you have a lot of beliefs inside it, but you have a foundation of our beliefs. And uh, I think what we went through last week will only make us stronger in the long run. Do you see a cap, you mentioned a cap agreement, budget cap agreement alongside the debt ceiling. Is that, is that one of the things? Well, you I laid out from an example of what happened last time. When Nancy Pelosi was speaker, that's what transpired. Um, to get a debt ceiling, they also got a cap on spending for the next two years. Spending is out of control here. There's been no, there's been no oversight, and we cannot continue around the same process. Uh, I had a very good conversation with the president when he called me, and I told him I'd, I'd like to sit down with him early and work through these challenges. Because, yes, your question earlier, Paul, the House is different. The American public made a decision where they fired the Democrats and they put us in charge. We put out a commitment to America to tell them exactly what we would do if they gave us the power. And in this first week, we continue to keep that commitment. We repealed 87,000 IRS agents. We created a select committee on China to bring the jobs back. We, we continued to work for the going after accountability in this government, the church-style committee of where we're going. We just stopped the raid of our, of our petri, uh, petroleum reserve so it won't be sold to China anymore. We continue to keep our promises. You'll watch it week after week after week. Is there any way to have a clean Yes, ma'am.